Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Round 9. And if you'd like to do a layout and put it on Instagram, use hashtag 30DSCBL9. And this is a sketch for today, and it's by Tracy Reed. And it calls for six photos, but I'm only going to use four instead. I want to leave some space to embellish. Tracy's sketch is super cute, but I had to figure out a place to add more because y'all know I like more. So I needed a couple of empty spots so I could do that at. And there I am showing the sketch. I did remember to show it. And I am just kind of going through the stuff that I plan on using. I think I used most of everything that I planned on using. There's some cards in that one uh, journaling pack and the corners was rounded and I thought they were quarter inch no 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 they're eighth inch so I rounded one with the eighth inch and it was the the photo I rounded one of the photos and as soon as I did I remembered it was the one I wanted for the Polaroid so I had to stop and put it in the Polaroids and not down the other three corners I didn't want to make it too small around the corners where it didn't fit correctly in that little spot. And that is a Sizzix die. And it comes with several dies. Uh, I think they're called framelit. I think. I think. But um, yeah, I'm just going to round the corners on all the photos to match. And then there was two I cut out that I just did three by three. But one I'm not going to end up using, uh, the yellow polka dot one. I wasn't quite sure which ones I was going to use, and I finally decided not to use the yellow polka dot one. I'm going to put them on my layout pretty much like the way Tracy has them, except I'm going to have my photo on the opposite side because of the one photo looking toward the right, and so I wanted it on the left, so I had to move something. It took me a minute to figure out what I wanted to move where. I thought I'd go ahead and put the Polaroid up on foam tape just to give it a little more dimension than the rest of the photos. And on the sketch, it has the titles, and it says a long title, but it don't give you much space, so you had to use small letters. And so my title is, and this one was just right. And that's my grandson, Malachi. And the, yes, this is another uh, video I got sent and did screenshots of so I could do a scrapbook layout. And he, my daughter-in-law picked up groceries and it was at, like Save-A-Lot. And she had boxes that she had put stuff in. And one ended up in the floor. Well, Malachi was in the floor. And he checked it out very quickly. And if you look at the photos, the kid has three binkies. One for each hand and one in his mouth. He's not going to run short on those things. And since the box he's playing in was one of those boxes that cereal boxes come in, I decided to use the Saturday morning because it does have cereal stuff. However, I am putting some pancake stuff on here too. The original sketch has stars, and so I'm kind of scattering stars around, sort of kind of like she did. Maybe just a little bit different, but sort of kind of like it. I might have picked different colors for my stars, but I was using scraps, and I was trying to stick with the collection, and these were the scraps that I had. But I came up with quite a few stars out of it, and... Some is going to go on foam tape. Well, I think most of them are. And most of them are layered. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of go around the cluster of photos in the center. Like they are done in the sketch. I'm trying to stick pretty close to the sketch. Well, and still have more. I wanted to put a star up there at the top by the title. I have you know, a couple over there to the right. But I wanted to put a letter on top of it. And so, yeah, my A got moved and then it got moved back. 
And the paper I used for the light blue on the stars, it had like starbursts on it. And I thought, how cool is that? I've got a scrap with starbursts on it. So I was pretty tickled with that. I'm tucking in that um, little circle that says Saturday. And then it has a stack of pancakes. And I'm just kind of tucking it in there. Mostly you're not going to be able to see the pancakes when I get done. But I like the word Saturday being there. The little teddy bear, it's just so cute. And it was on a circle. And I just did, yeah, I did consider just using it as it is. But as adorable as it was, it was just begging to be fussy cut. So, yeah, a fussy cut, put foam tape behind it. And then I'm going to set it in the corner up there on that um, notebook paper. And he's going to look like he's just sitting on top of the Polaroid. I, oh, I, it has phrases down there on the bottom right. Well, maybe it's journaling. I, I didn't really read it that close. But I'm going to put little phrases there instead. And the word pancakes is going to be on there. Cereal and mmm is also there. Well, it'll be in a second. I kind of got a little bit ahead of myself. I am layering them. Just, well, I do like layering. But it adds a little more color down there, too. This is more yellows and oranges. It's a good thing I had that Starburst paper and added some blue in here, too. And let's see. I'm getting pretty close to being done with my layout. It's gone pretty quickly. I am adding Sugar Rush up there on the right by that tab. And then I'm going to also add Yummy, too. And... Oh, enamel dots. I'm going to add enamel dots plus some brads. About halfway through putting the enamel dots on, I'm going to remember I've got that package of brads over there. And I was definitely planning on putting them on there because I have two packs. And one is completely full. And the other one only had a couple. This one here only had a couple missing. And I had two packs of flare, too. But they're all rusted, so... They aren't going on the layout. But while I'm doing that, I want to mention that down there below that you will see the links to everybody else that are doing the 30 days of sketches. Now, they may not be doing them every day, and they might not have one today, but they will have one on the days they can. And then there's several that are going to be doing them every day. So be sure to check them out and see if they have a layout for today. And let's see, where am I at? Oh, I'm putting my brads on there. And that one had an arrow and it says my fave. Well, when I put adhesive behind it, it ended up laying there on my cutting board mat. And I forgot about it. Well, I'm going to see it. But by the time I see it, I'm going to go ahead and decorate that little arrow-looking thing with uh, up next and that star that I put on there, glued down, and then immediately took back off. So it went on there because I thought, man, it looks awful plain. Well, the reason it looks plain is because I didn't put the whole thing back on there before I notice it and think, oh, now where am I going to put that at? So I tucked it in underneath the Polaroid so it'd still go on the layout, even though it isn't in the correct spot. And once I get the... Oh, I do have one more thing after the enamel dots. And I'm only adding the darker orange of them. The other one is kind of a... Well, almost... Well, it's yellow, but it's got an orange tint to it. So I'm doing the ones that actually look orange. I was thinking I needed a little something, and I did consider using photo corners down in each corner. But then I thought, well, I've got leftover paper of that one, which I used on the Polaroid and some other places like the stars and stuff. So I decided just to cut a couple of strips and put them in the upper left and bottom right corner. And then I will be done with my layout. 
but I did stick pretty fairly close to the original sketch. And uh, yeah, and then added my more because, you know, I like more. But uh, yeah, there's little Malachi with his newfound treasure of a box. Kids just love boxes. I'm sure I did when I was little too. <laughs> and there's my cereal party since he is in a cereal box and the cereal and the pancakes and everything on there and uh, I did forget to mention that the Polaroid die says I love this and the prompt for today is hearts and so the little heart that came out of that heart I put up by the teddy bear you know because you know the teddy bear is cute so he needed to have a little heart beside him and so, yeah, I've got two hearts there. I've got the negative and the positive. So I have the hearts on my layout. But uh, if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But I hope you all have a happy scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Check out all those links down there below. And try out this sketch. Bye.